Hello, and welcome to another Mario Party 5 minigame review. Up today is the dual minigame Pound Peril. And this dual minigame is surprisingly intense. There's buttons arranged in a circle, and one button is the winning button that will get you out of the perilous room safely, and the others, well, there's a few different things that'll happen, and they're all bad. Yeah, it could be argued that this is a random chance minigame, but I didn't think it was that bad. Sure, you're just trying to find the one button that'll let you win, but since it's a dual minigame, it's really exciting to see which one of you will find it first. Definitely. So obviously your strategy is to try and hit the buttons as fast as possible. That being said, you and I both started on our own side and just kind of worked our way towards the middle. We didn't really have too much strategy on jumping to each other's sides or anything because the button's placed randomly, so who knows where it is? Yeah, every time we played this, we had the same approach to it. It's definitely not a perfect mini game. When you guys play this one, what do you do? Let us know in the comments below. I'm curious. One thing I did kind of like about this one is seeing all the animations that would happen to your character when you hit the wrong buttons. Like sometimes you'd be electrocuted or sometimes a big anvil would fall on you. It was just kind of funny to see. And sometimes you got slimed by purple goo. It was funny. I did enjoy it as well. For some reason, I did have a little bit of trouble trying to get onto the buttons in ground pounding. I think I was just too excited though, so sometimes I would jump too early. But that probably doesn't happen to everyone. Yeah, that's probably because we're trying to go as fast as we can and sometimes you end up making errors. But that's just part of the intensity. So overall, this minigame's really not bad. As far as dual minigames go, I thought it was pretty good. At the end of the day, it does just come down to luck, but it's exciting trying to find that one button that'll let you win the minigame. Yeah, it would be nice if it was a little more exciting, but you probably won't hate this one, so we're giving it three stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing Pump and Jump. Well, if you want to see what we'll be jumping off of, come back for our next video. Hope, Hope to see, see you then. then.